Hey, it's me, Pro Jared, and this is Slay the Spire, which might be my new favorite game to play right now. I didn't really know anything about this one, but I had some a lot of people suggest this game to me over on Twitter, not really knowing anything about it, and then I finally played it, and I instantly love it. Uh, it is a roguelike card game. I'll, I'm, I'm in the middle, I, I basically just beat the first level. So we're just gonna continue off of that one. Uh, this is the this this is literally like the second time I played it. So I had just beaten the boss, and I got uh, some items. I'll explain things as I'm going. So here we go. So it's like it's got the different branching paths. So I can choose to start at any one of these, and I can kind of look ahead to see where I want to go. Uh, little monster heads or fights. Question marks are who knows what. We got resting points. We got super hard monsters. We got merchants. Oh, if I take that left path, I'm just... I'm like stuck over there, so I don't want to go that way. Uh, let's... I'm going to go to a merchant, because I got a, a fair amount of money that I haven't spent yet. So! So basically, every room you come into a battle, and it's card-based. So I've got this deck of cards, and I draw five cards, and this is what I can play. And the upper left shows how much energy they cost to play, and right here shows how much energy I have. So I can think like mana in uh, Magic the Gathering. So I've got four mana to spend, and I can use that on any one of these. Uh, this is my dude over here. I've got 89 hit points. Uh, and then over at the enemies, uh, what's above their heads shows them what they're about to do. So this guy is going to buff himself or his allies in some way. He's also got flight, which makes it so that reduce attack damage taken by 50%. Oh, so they're just taking like half. But if they take three damage, if they take damage three times in one turn, then they land. And then these two guys are both going to attack once for about five damage. Um... I'm going to do Shockwave, because this will hit all of them for just a little bit of damage, or no damage, uh, but also weakens them, so they're going to be dealing less damage, and also hits them with vulnerability, so they're going to be taking more damage. These are like my basic attacks. i got a Bash for eight. Uh, I'm just going to cut up. Let's cut up this bird. And that's all I can do. And then at the end, uh, any cards you didn't use are discarded and put into the discard pile. Kaka! Strength up. Oh, 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 okay. So they don't attack. They're not attacking once for five damage. They're attacking for one damage five times. And because I got a weakened, that's dealing none. This guy, however, just uses strength up, so now he's about to hit me for nine. And I can respond to that by making sure I play defense cards, allow me to gain block to help reduce that damage, but that takes energy. So I have to kind of choose between hitting hard or uh, kind of being more defensive. Uh, let's go Berserk. So now I've got a, a, a buff where if I get below half my hit points, I'll start with energy. I'm still at full, so I don't think it's gonna happen. That's probably a waste. Uh, strike. And then I'm just gonna defend up so I negate this guy's damage. So I've got 10 here, meaning I can stop at least 10 damage. And then the next turn, all your block goes away. So this is the only character I've got at the moment. I know you can unlock more as you're playing, but again, this is literally just my second time playing through it. So like, I'm still pretty new to this and I've been slowly putting together my deck, which you know I'm a sucker for card games, but combining card games with turn-based strategy battles and roguelike, kind of tasty love it okay uh ooh. i like pommel strike because it gets the card draw oh some of my cards i actually upgraded so this is strike plus instead of dealing six damage it now deals three but he's got vulnerability which means he's taking 50 percent. i still got the flight though so it's just just normal damage um i can just play all of these four and that's pretty much good uh Let's go Pommel Shrek. Oh, I shrug it off. Gain eight block and draw a card. Uh, and a strike. If I hit him one more time, he'll go down. Oh, I can kill him. Headbutt. Back. And then headbutt lets me put a card back on the top of my pile. I'm going to take Bash because I like that it provides vulnerability. Oh, he's got a hit point left. 
I'll just finish them off. These guys are gonna buff themselves again, probably with the strength up, I would guess. So since I know they're not attacking, I don't need to worry about getting my block up. Is that two turns or strength up twice? Oh, so he's about to hit for three damage five times. That's a lot. Oh, oh, perf perfect strike. This is one of my favorite cards. Uh, so it deals. Uh, it's also I also improved it. So it deals an additional three damage for all my cards containing strike. I don't know if that's in my hand or in my deck. I think it's in my deck. So this can hit for twenty-seven. So oh, he's got the flight though. So it's only gonna hit for thirteen, unless I bash him first. Bash, making him vulnerable and die. <gasps> Oh, you bastard! Oh, I, oh, this is gonna hurt. He's got a hit point left. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Hello. And then he comes in. Oh man, I just lost like a 25% of my health. Oh, that sucks. Okay, but I do have this feed card. Uh, it says exhaust, so if you play it, it's removed from the battle. But if you use it to finish off an enemy, ow, I eat the bird and I gain a total, a maximum of plus three hit points. Which is sick. All right, uh, we're gonna go a little more offensive here and bring him to the ground. Get rid of his, uh, does that stun him? Oh, it totally does. Great, that brought him down. So now I can just, just destroy him. And a headbutt. Tight. And then this character heals six hit points at the end of each battle, so. I got 19 gold, and I get to pick a card. Second wind. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand and gain five block reach. Eh. Deal two damage four times and exhaust four. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand and deal 16. So it's like exhausting like my blocks. They're all exhaust cards. I'll do Sever Soul. That sounds neat. Let's go. I have not been to a merchant at all. Hello. Welcome. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Card removal service? Remove a card from your deck. Oh, so that's how you... Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> uh, gain five block and deal five damage? I like that. Dramatic entrance. What is innate? Start with it at the. Oh! So you just start with this card. Oh my god, that's awesome. It's like a free six damage to all enemies. I'll take that. Enlightenment. Reduce the cost of your cards in your hand to one. It's fine. Oh, there's also these things a regen potion, elixir, block potion. You can also carry three potions that you can freely use in combat. War paint. Upgrade two random skills. Let's do that. Bloodletting and shrug it off have been improved. Cool. All right, so that's some improvement. So this is a random thingy. Thievery. So looter steals 15 gold whenever it attacks. Well, it's a good thing I got rid of all my money. All right, dramatic entrance. Just start off by dealing six to both of them. Sorry, I have four energy. I've got perfected strike to deal 27. Uh, can I? I'm gonna shrug it off first. Just so I can see what my next card is. Berserk, that's not super helpful. All right, uh, perfect strike! Iron wave. Which gets me up to 16 blocks. I'll be stopping a lot of damage. But I'm gonna take my money. Give me a gold! Yeah, they just kind of take it no matter what. Okay, so... I can kill him. He's got eight hit points, this deals nine. Or I can... F I'm gonna eat him! I'm gonna eat this person! Ow! <laughs> You're next! Sever his soul! That gets rid of my one block card, but, you know, screw this guy. I'll take 10 damage to bring him down to half. Hand it over! Arrgh, my money, and I am out of cash. I'm really glad I spent all of that. All right, Pottle Strike. 
crush him, draw a card. Cut. Cut. Dead. Oh, I got my money back! Oh, good! I didn't know that. Got a card. Clothesline. Ooh, weakness for three turns? I already got a blood bunny. Anger. Deal four damage. Place a copy of this card into your discard pile. Oh, I get it. So, the, every time I have to reshuffle my discard pile into my hand, I'm gonna get angry and angrier, so I'm gonna have like more and more aggressive cards. That's not that strong. It's a free hit, but it's not that strong. I'll take the clothesline plus, since I've got the plus on it. Alright, I'm not gonna go this way, because it's not a whole lot of options. Let's keep going to the right. Hello. Fighter and white mage. He's going to attack. Mystic's going to buff. Dramatic entrance! Uh, apply three weak and vulnerable to all enemies? Yeah, let's do that. So he's weakened, and then I can sever his soul for an extra 16 damage. Or 24, because I got the weak on there. Cool. It's gonna hit me a little bit. That's fine. Oh, there it is, the strength buff. I knew it. Super glad I weakened him then. Okay. So, I can hit him for 40 damage because of the weakness. Which I'm going to do. Whack! And I think I can Iron Wave to... No, I don't need to. Because if I kill him, he won't be attacking. You're just buffing. So... I'll, I, can, uh, I can do that. It'll kill him off, and I'll gain 5 block. Just in case. So he's dead, leaving just you. Strike for a 13? Quick. Sounds good to me. I'm just gonna wreck this dude. Lady? Okay. Oh, there's the clothesline. For 14. He's still vulnerable for one more turn. So... Hit you for 13. Put a card back on top. Uh, perfect. Perfect strike is just too good. So I'll automatically get that card next turn. Uh, I'm just gonna hit you as hard as I can. There you go. I really want to eat you. Oh well. I could set the block, but I don't want to lose three hit points and you're just buffing yourself, so it's fine. I get the perfected strike next turn. Bershad's going to finish you off. Oh, I no longer feel vulnerable. I feel great. Ah! Yay. Oh, a strength potion. You can add another card. Intimidate. Weakness to all for zero. Dual wield. And flex. Do I flex? Hell yeah. Whoop. Bird cultists. Hello. Uh, uh, not not the greatest card to start off with. Now, well, I can defend first, which allows me to sever soul and not have to exile my block card. You're at 47, you're at 42. Let's go for you. They're all gonna buff themselves? Alright, let's chop them up. Alright, what are you doing, bird people? Incantation. Oh. At the end of its turn, it gains the strike. My power is unmatched! Uh, flex for 27. Alright. Uh, mm, let's do this! You want some? Hit for 29. Wow, that's a lot. Alright, well I can headbutt you and put back on top Flex again. Strike you down. You're gonna attack for six. Hit for 29. I don't have, uh, I've got um, I've got the one defend. But I'd rather hit for 29, because that's just really good. Whack! Alright, fine. Alright, do your worst. Six damage. Six damage. This game is still in early access, by the way. Hmm. 
I've only got two attack cards here, but thankfully this allows me to get some block and draw an extra card. Ooh, clothesline. Perfect. And if I flex it up, I can clothesline and kill this dude. Or I can use it to weaken him and take less damage. Hmm. If I deal three damage to myself, I'll be able to play all the cards and definitely finish him off. Worth. All right, plus two energy. Clothesline you, weaken your attack. Double strike here to kill you. Oh, I still got the block. Oh, perfect, yeah. So that barely even hurt. You've got 31 hit points. Uh, bash, giving you vulnerability for extra damage. Like iron wave, so I get some block. Now let's do a cut. So up here is basically all my uh, different uh, relics and treasures that I've got from playing. It's not in roguelike, you like slowly make your dude better as you play. That's everything I got up here. So this is my innate ability, Burning Blood. I heal at the end of combat. Uh, I found this molten egg, which allowed me to upgrade all my cards. Uh, anytime at campfires, normally you can either rest and gain some hit points back or improve on your cards. I also now have the option to just lift some weights and gain a strength bonus for three, three battles. Uh, Bird Face Urn is whenever I play a power card, I get two hit points. The Velvet Choker lets me start with extra energy. So that's why I have four instead of three. And then you saw me get this, the war paint. Uh, Armaments. Gain five block. Upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of combat. Okay. Body slam plus. Mm, corruption. Skills cost zero, but when we play a skill, exhaust it. Let's go with armaments. All right. Campfire. Uh, I'm still at 52 hit points. I can get 28 back. Get the strength up. Or I want to upgrade a card. Can you double upgrade? Doesn't look like it. Um, Smith up. Probably Sever Soul. It already deals 16 if I make that better. Makes it 20. Can I make that 12. Can I make that 12. We gain four permanent hit points. Let's improve feed. Got a better finisher. I just feel like being able to increase your maximum hit points is a good idea. Oh, it's another merchant. Uh, can I even really buy anything? I have 84 gold. Pommel strikes on sale. Oh, uppercut. One weak, one vulnerable for 13 damage. Oh, look at his little hand. You, you want this one, don't you? This one right here? <laughs> uh, that's pretty cool. Basically trade this card out to fetch a skill card. I can't afford it though. Dexterity potion, explosive potion. Uh, combust? Lose a hit point to deal 4 damage to all enemies. Mm. True grit? 7 block, and exhaust a random card. Nah. Um, I'll take the explodey potion. That if, there's a, if I fight a bunch of enemies at once, I can just explode them. Okay, so I can go both sides treasure. There's an elite monster there. Or I can head to the left for extra campfire. Do you get... Do you get like better rewards for killing elite monsters? I'd imagine. Oh, another merchant. What's a skull? Three plus, plus three strength, they have less than half your hit points. I can't afford any of these, I'm not gonna get too excited. Oh, which direction do I want to go? I would have to fight the elite monster if I went that way though. I do have a strength potion and an explosive potion. Is that a man? Is that a good idea to do? I could play it safe. And go for the. Ah, I'm gonna go campfire because I'm a baby. Hello, an old coin. Three hundred gold. Tight. Uh, uh, I'm gonna upgrade another card. Wait, is there a way I can look at the? Oh, I can. Map. So if I. Two, three. Or one, two, three. I was trying to see how far lifting weights would get me. 
It's pretty good. Um, we'll go for the card upgrade though. What does this do? Apply five weak and vulnerable to all. That's no joke for five turns. Uh, upgrading berserk does nothing. Four strength from flex plus. Upgrade all cards in your hand. Mmm, I like that one. So it's cool. So you basically have like your different attack cards. The skill cards are like sorceries or instances for yourself for a buff. Hello. You. You're gonna uh, snacko. <laughs> Oh, I got armaments! Ah, oh, but every, all these are already, like, improved! Oh, and... And they're not really super useful right now. Oh, I can't really play any of these cards, they're not worth it. This doesn't even get exhausted when used? Alright, we'll use the armaments to get some block. Uh... Now, fine. I might need to get more attack cards. I've been getting a lot of buffs and things. Oh, what's confusion do? Whenever you draw a card, randomize its cost. Well, that's pretty cool because you just made all these super cheap. Shockwave. Shrug it off. Draw a card. Oh, perfected strike, but it costs three. Uh, oh, I got it. I'll do this first. Whack. Hit for 40. Head bottom. And just put that right back on top of my deck. Yes! Tail whip! I blocked it. Ooh, but it made me vulnerable. 16 is a lot. Oh, I'm st oh confusion is not going away. Well, that's not good. 40 damage! <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> it's an aggressive play, yes, but uh... Ow. Oh! Next campfire, I am resting. Oh, clothesline. Die. Heal a little bit. Make some gold. Elixir. Which I already got. I can get another card here. Uh, another flex plus? I'll take an extra feed just so I have another attack. I'm not going to take the potion because I'm full. Okay. Oh, these guys! I fought them before. I know how to handle this. With a dramatic entrance! I am here! And you are weakened! Uh, just chop them up a bit. There you go. Get some block. So it's kind of like a. It's not even it's a card game, but it's also one of those like deck building games where you slowly you start off because like when I, when I started with this, my deck was like eight, nine, ten cards or so. It was just a lot of strikes, and blocks, and that's about it. But now I've got all these cool attacks. Uh, I can go berserk. Because that also made me get two hit points for my urn. So I'll get extra energy from now on. Uh, flex up. Square up, thought. Here we go. Pop! Ooh. Uh. I can defend up, remove, stop all the damage, or I can headbutt him for 11. Headbutt him. Because I want back another flex. And then I'll defend for six. Eh, only three damage. Oh, you heal. Hmm. He's going to block next turn. You're going to do another buff. Oh, perfect, perfect strike. Hits for 40. Goodbye. Um. Ooh. Strength up. See, so this will hit for 8 to 27. Whereas this just gives me 3 block that I don't really need. So we're going to go strike and then sever my soul. It exiles that card, but allow me to hit him hard. Yeah, and there's heal. Okay, so frailty is off. Do I have a. Ooh, I got a feed. Can I deal enough damage to you that I can feed? Strike. Strike down to 10. 
Let's see if I can draw another card. Oh, another feed! Alright. How? How? <laughs> Plus four hit points. Ha <laughs> uh, Metallicize. So then your turn gain three block. Oh, that's pretty sick. Warcry plus. Draw two cards. Uh, oh, draw two. Put one back on top. Not bad. Uh, I like Metallicize. That's just free armor. Uh, keep fighting or go for another random event. Uh, let's keep fighting. Hello, Malleable Plant Monster. What's Malleable? When taking attack damage, it gains three block. Block increases as Malleable is triggered. It resets to three at the start of my turn. Hmm. Really? Alright, we're gonna Metallicize. So I start getting free block. And I guess... Sever your soul? Yep, there's... There it is. Now it's got four? Wow, so it just kind of hardens up every time I attack it. This is gonna- oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh! Close line, weaken them. Oh man. I actually might be in trouble here. He's about to hit for 15. Armaments to get some more block. Ah, I should have weakened them. I made them vulnerable. It's gonna do some extra damage. All right, come on, defense. Was there a camp? There was one campfire before the final boss. I'm not an 18. Ah, he's gonna debuff me. All right. Bash, get the vulnerability on there so I can deal extra damage to kind of get past his malleable bullshit. Iron wave. So I'll get extra block. I don't need block right now because he's in a debuff. So I can just... Let's go Berserk. Alright, what are you doing? Enfeebling spores? I am now frail and weakened. Which means I gain less block and my attacks are sucky. Alright, uh, Pommel Strike. Oh, he's about to hit for 15 again. Shrug it off, draw another card. Strike plus? Down to four? But he's got four armors left. This will bring him down to two. But it won't kill him. This will bring him down to. Ugh! I can't kill him! Nope, just gotta defend. Just gotta defend super hard. Oh, that sucks. I got enough block to stop all his attacks, all his damage at least. <sighs> I gotta finish this. Oh, a feed and a perfect strife. Both would do it. Okay. All right, flex up for extra deeps. And then I think this will just kill him. And I got a little bit of max hit points, so I got to heal a little bit. <laughs> Cleaves tend to all. Uppercut and flex. Let's take that uppercut. Alright, I need to get to that camp and rest really badly. Oh, as you attempt to sneak past a group of shrouded figures, a naked, red skinned man approaches you. Got any jacks, friend? I got the shakes bad. Please, maybe some coin? He seems delusional, but harmless. I don't have any jacks, but I do have some coin. Sure. Oh, yes, yes, here, here, fetch your aid. He gave me a pentagraph. At the start of boss combat, heal 25 hit points. Hell yes. That's great. Because I need to heal. Uh, rest. 30 hit points back. And then I'll gain another 25 going into this boss battle. Oh, here we go. Oh, 420 is the champ. All right. Uh, dramatic entrance. Uh, I'm just gonna swing with everything right away. Go Berserk now, because I'm sure I'm gonna be getting hurt that much. Strike, strike, strikes. And he just flexes up, so he's gonna be start hitting me hard. Okay. Oh, I can weaken him, though. Uh, I too can flex! Bash him! Make him vulnerable for extra damage! Uppercut him into the sky! 
just hit him right in the, the chin of his helmet. So it rattles his brain a little bit. What's he gonna do? Uh, he's going to block and bluff. And buff, okay. Uh, alright. Took that. Defensive stance. 15 block? Oh! He's got, also got metallicized, he's getting 5 block every turn. And now he's gonna attack me for 12 and deal in the negative effect. Well, I too can defend! Uh, he's still weak and vulnerable, so Shockwave's not gonna help much. I'll defend a little bit. Uh, I can't get through the armor. I'll just let, let that block go away. Face slap? Ugh. <laughs> Flail and vulnerable? Ah, oh, man! I still got the perfect strike. Oh, that's a lot of improved cards here. Uh, shrug it off first. See if I can't draw something useful. Pommel strike lets me draw. Oh, it's gonna go. Perfect strike! Uh. This is gonna deal 18 damage. I'm just gonna get that in there. Okay. Take that. Booyah rest! <laughs> Weaken and vulnerable for longer! Oh, wait, no, I bet this is elixir. So doesn't that remove all? Status cards are removed, curse cards. Oh, it doesn't really get rid of, I don't think these are cards, these are just effects. Oh, that's not what I thought it did. All right, uh, strength potion though, I can drink that. It's permanently gain two strength for this fight. All right, so. Yeah, we're gonna close line and you get you weakened. Mm. He's going to attack me. And deal another negative effect. Duh. Eh, here's some block. And some hurt. Uh, defend! Because I'm scared. Oh, another face slap. Eh. Dude, that frailty's gonna last forever. He hasn't really been hurting me though, I'm just like weakened. Ooh, armaments. Perfect. Upgrade all my attacks. Bash him, make him vulnerable. Draw two cards. Oh, not super helpful right now. I'm, I only have one energy left. Eh, hit him for 12. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Ah. Okay, weakened is worn off. I can deal full damage again. I got perfect strike. Does he still have vulnerability? He does, so I'll hit him real hard. For 43. Ah! Right through the armor. Uh, he's got weakness for one more turn. Now I'm gonna close line him. Get that weakness back up. He's gonna buff himself. Strength up again. Glad I weakened him. He's gonna do a debuff on me. Uh, mm, oh, not the best attacks here. Okay, get some armor. These are not helpful. What's well, gonna go in the discard pile anyway? I'm just gonna hit him. I'm not gonna eat him at the end of battle, which is a shame because he looks delicious. I'm sure. Underneath that carapace. Okay, okay. Alright, shockwave! Get that vulnerability back. Uh. Ah, uh, head butt. Let's get back that perfect strike, and then defend. Defeat impossible! Oh, he just went Super Saiyan! And lost all of his debuffs! That's all I got. Twelve turns of increases attack damage by twelve. He's gonna hit for twenty-eight three times. Uh, time to block. Iron wave, more block. So, <laughs> 
cut and cut. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Can I live for this? I don't know if I can. Execute. <laughs> I'm sure in this. Sure, you're about to attack for 27. But. Uh. Close line! Urgh. Weaken the damage. I'm so dead. This is it. Shrug it off! Defend! Oh, wait, no, I'm gonna have just enough armor. I'll have just enough armor that he won't be able to kill me. <laughs> Alright, headbutt! Hit him for 11. Uh, card I can get back. Uh, 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 shrug it off. Keep my defense up. Oh, oh god. Alright, yeah, I'm at 22 armor. He's gonna hit for 20. Yeah, I'm still in this <laughs> at one hit point. Oh, his vulnerability's gone. Okay. Alright, uh, shrug it off, draw a card. Get some armor. Okay, bash. All right, flex it up. He's gonna hit for 16. 16 I can deal with. Bash him. Strike him. Defend. You're not gonna get through with this. I don't have a shield, so I'm just defending really hard. Oh, he's got the face slap though. Now it's gonna be harder to get defense. Oh, there's another execute. Perfect strike. Hits for 43. That'll bring him really close to dead. Oh, I'm really lacking in attack cards, though. I think it. Ah, uh, I think I have to do this. Uh, uh, yep, going for it, going for it. Uh, he's down to eight. Strike, eight damage. Woo! <laughs> One hit point, baby. <laughs> Holy crap! Dexterity potion. Uh, what if you block deal three damage to a random enemy? Cool. When you exhaust a card, draw a card. I'll take Juggernaut. Oh my god. Alright, I did it. Give me your super loot. Choose a relic. You get a uh, runic pyramid. You no longer discard your hand, but you draw one less card each turn. The Philosopher's Stone. Gain energy at the start of each turn. All enemies start with plus two strength. Ooh, no thank you. Or a question card. On card reward screens, choose from four cards instead of three. Ooh, I'll take that. Proceed. Oh, all right, that went longer than I thought it would because I didn't realize that boss would be that fight. Oh, there's level three. All right, yeah, I'm gonna keep going on this because I'm having a really good time. I'm really having fun with this. I don't know if you guys are, but I'm so into this. This is so cool. All right, I'll do at least one more episode and see how it goes from there. Aha, level three's next. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time.